so what is attachment actually um attachment is basically an internalized uh, model it's an internalized belief about um, yourself and about others and it's a way that you view the world and it's a way that you perceive um, close relationships around you and these um, internalized beliefs that we these internal this internalized model that we have of attachment is basically um, coming from uh, you know it's coming from your your very very beginning of your from the very beginning of your life which is which is your um relationship with your caregivers like i said it's a working model of beliefs about the self and others and obviously because it's a working model of how we see the world um there are a set of rules so to say that we inherit in in attachment about how to behave in certain attachment related situations so for example um when you have close relationships with your friends or um, even intimate relationships with uh, with your partners there are a set of rules and regulations um they are not exactly cool, called rules and regulations but they are unspoken rules and regulations about how we behave how we react to situations how we react to negative emotions in close relationships and these um according to these theorists who came up with the attachment theories these these are actually inherited and these are the set of rules that we learn in the process of attachment and obviously um attachment styles uh, strongly affect how we perceive and behave in close adult relationships because um they are the they are the this is the fundamental um, way that we we begin um associating ourselves with other people so obviously our attachment style affects the way we relate to other people in our life and it's largely dependent on the initial interactions with our primary and secondary caregivers in most cases this is a biological mother or father but of course you know um things can be different for different um, families and we could have um you know uh, in some cases adoptive parents or foster parents or even grandparents if nobody else is around so but in most cases when we talk about attachment theory we are referring to biological mother and father mm -hmm.